Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here, along with my beautiful co-host, Missy Mimi's. How's it going there, Missy Mimi's? It's going good. How are you guys? We are doing good, I think. I think everyone out there is doing good on this beautiful Thursday night. It is October 19, 2023, about 11.20 p.m. Latest activity shows, uh, looks like a 1.8 into the area of Alaska. Did see some movement. Throughout the evening and afternoon along the Java Trench areas, seen a couple uh, moderate earthquakes out here. The latest one looks like a 4.6 here along the Java Trench, about 38 kilometers deep. Trying to make its way up along this plate boundary, not quite doing so. We've noticed a little blockage here of uh, uh, pressure transfer for now, but we're expecting that to probably fill in here soon. Uh, a little bit of activity across the New Guinea area. Uh, this earthquake activity coming in earlier this morning and also this evening, a couple fours in this region. Nothing going on across the uh, Kurokamachaka or the Japan Trench for now, according to the USGS. Pretty quiet up there. Uh, along the Alaska region, mostly smaller microquakes up there in this area, as you can see on the globe. handful of earthquakes throughout the area today. A um, little bit of movement here across the Mount Martin area. Is that Ma Mount Martin or Mount Martin? Martin. Sure, it's not Martine? Okay, well, it could be. Maybe it could be. <laughs> All right. Uh, either way, a little bit of activity stirring up here across this area of Alaska. I'm going to put some pronunciations on you, Missy Mimi's, <laughs> just because you were up here right now. So, how about up here in Washington? Got a little earthquake north of right here? Uh, Wenatchee. Wenatchee? Wenatchee, Washington, near the uh, Wenatchee Mountains, it looks like. Mm -hmm. About four kilometers deep or so. A little bit of activity here south of Seattle near, uh, looks like Dash Point area. Yeah. Looks like, um, not for sure what the uh, plate boundary or the uh, fault system is out here, but a little bit of activity stirring up out there. Also across the Cascades into the Mount St. Helens area. West Coast lighting up slightly, but nothing major going on for now handful of earthquakes up against the uh, San Joaquin Valley. And uh, not a whole lot here along the San Andreas Fault for now, but uh, we've got to watch these areas inland away from the, the uh, plate boundary. That could give us a sign of uh, what's going on there specifically along the plate boundary. It might be strained slightly out here across the West Coast. Of course, down here in South America, or uh, in Southern California, that area is no doubt strained and uh, ready for a big one, but for right now, things are pretty quiet out there across the area. Uh, not a whole lot going on throughout Yellowstone National Park up here in Wyoming. A quick glance at the Yellowstone overviews. We'll refresh this, make sure we got the latest data. Looks like they're having some pretty good wind events up there. Uh, I'm pretty certain that's what we're seeing over here across the area. Let me double check that and see what we got here for the windy map. Um... Stand by here for a second. Wind gust. It looks like that kicked up here throughout earlier today, right? This kind of looks a little odd over here around Grayling Creek. But it's not showing up across any other seismograph station. So a little uncertain as to what that is. Let me go back here earlier in the day around 3 p.m. or so. See what we got. A little bit of wind stirring up out there. Uh, throughout the afternoon and early evening time period of Yellowstone, but uh, this activity looks a little odd. Doesn't quite look like earthquake activity. It's not showing up near Horse Butte. Um, Purple Mountain's kind of picking up something else, but uh, I don't know. Looks a little weird. Not earthquake activity. Otherwise, we'd see that showing up here across the majority of these seismograph stations. All right, what do we got? Texas. A little bit of activity stirring up here throughout the day today out here in the oil fields of Texas. The latest, a 3.0 outside of Pecos, Texas, it looks like. As far as anything major going on across the world for now, just kind of watching the Kilauea volcano. Um, still seeing inflation rates out here across the some area or just south of there continuing to rise. Not seeing any latest or not seeing any more earthquake activity out there in the area. Just kind of watching this. Uh, most of the movement has been across Pahala, where we've seen a handful of earthquakes there, including a 3.5, 31 kilometers deep uh, out here across the Helena Slump region. 
Aside from that, a little bit of activity north of uh, New Zealand here. This earthquake coming in earlier this evening, it looks like. Uh, that is a 4.6 near Hicks Bay, New Zealand. 45 kilometers deep here. Kind of working its way down here. Looks like the uh, plate boundary wants to uh, be somewhat active here across the area. We'll continue to watch New Zealand. Uh, noticing a little gap here of seismic activity across the area of the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu area, and Fiji for now. Probably will fill in here slightly overnight, but uh, continue to watch this area around the Java Trench northward for some movement. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. South America, pancake activity. This is very common here across the subduction zone. As uh, far as any solar weather activity goes, seen a handful of, uh, looks like sea flare activity. Nothing showing up here on this graph for, for some reason. There we go. That's a little odd. Uh, looks like a C 2.2 or so within the last hour. Nothing major, though, going on. The overall threat right now, 60% chance for a C flare. M flare at 5%, pretty low, and the X flare probability around 1%. Uh, there's not a whole lot of complexity out here within these sunspot core areas. All of these look fairly stable. Um... And there's not a whole lot coming around the eastern limb of the sun. That's just the unfortunate uh, activity currently taking place out here. Well, watch this one up here, though. We're looking at a little uh, magnetic arc, arcing or arching, so to speak, here across that area. That's going to be within, well, it's unnamed currently. Uh, but we're watching this area. A couple different sunspot or uh, magnetic spots in here. Uh, within this sunspot core that we'll keep an eye on. Uh, nothing major going on as far as the uh, auroras go. And as uh, far as the weather forecast goes, well, looking at some rain and cooler temperatures there across the eastern portion of the country. For us here, we're looking at one more hot day along the west coast uh, tomorrow before low pressure kicks in along the west coast, bringing us a slight chance of rain, but much cooler temperatures. It's not a huge trough out here, but it does look like it wants to develop over California. And uh, got some cooler air sitting up in Canada, but uh, for the most part, looks like it wants to hang out up there for now. We'll continue to watch that, though, as we head into uh, the month of November coming up here. We're almost at the end of the year already. Goodness. It's crazy. Right? It is crazy. All right, uh, so what else we got here? Anything else going on, Missy Mimi's? You haven't been on here in probably a well, while, a couple months. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been at least a couple months. So, trimmer Make, map maybe trimmer. I keep forgetting the trimmer. That's yeah. a good thing to check, even though it's only eleven epicenters of trimmer out here. Out here, just got a hiccup outside of Roseburg, but this is well underneath the Roseburg area. Um, aside from that, things are very minimal. We haven't seen any major uptick in trimmer since October of last year. So we're coming up, well, past a year now Yeah. Uh, since we last seen that trimmer out there. This is the uh, large scale event. Uh, over 12,000 epicenters of trimmer within roughly about a month time frame last year. And we do get these periods of trimmer elevated activity and they're pretty common. They stir up every, oh, I don't know, every four, five, six months or so. But we're looking at a period of very quietness since then. So I'm not for sure what that means. It means possibly that things are um, pretty compacted, so to speak, pressurized out here across the West Coast. I don't know. Um, I do think, though, when we do see elevated amounts of trimmer, we should be on guard uh, for the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. But uh, this activity is a little puzzling here with the lack of trimmer recently across the Cascadia. Uh, let's see what else we got. Anything major going on across the EMSC model? European model looks uh, pretty active, but this is, uh, I mean, that's very typical to see earthquake activity out here across this region. The Atlantic Ocean, calm and clear. This earthquake south of Africa, along a divergent boundary out here, uh, very typical to see earthquake activity out there in that zone. Um, well south here. I'll show you guys the historical marker 
uh, for earthquake activity. It does see quite a bit of movement on occasion. And, uh, you know, it's not uncommon to see larger earthquakes out here. Along that uh, divergent boundary, you can pretty much see where all the plate boundaries sit. Very typical. And, uh, of course, areas here across the western Pacific and uh, adjacent plates are the more active zones compared to areas out here. Due to the general plate movement out here across the uh, map, the arrows show you the general direction of where all the strain builds. And uh, we're just kind of out here where uh, time is ticking for the San Andreas Fault. Uh, not for sure when it's going to pop, but no doubt it will. Strain's been building up here for probably over 300 years or so for the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. All right, uh, what else we got? Anything going on, Missy Mimi's? No? No, just kids in school. <laughs> kids in school. <laughs> Fun stuff, right? right? Kids in school. I know. I'm dealing with school quite a bit myself here. So taking uh, some geography classes and uh, uh, what else? A couple of space uh, mastering astronomy classes. Those things are crazy. They'll give me a little bit of a headache because it involves a lot of physics. A lot. Of, well, physics. And but math. And math, right? I love physics, but the mathematics behind it is just crazy. <laughs> it gives you it gives one a headache yeah. i don't understand why you have to have so much math math there for uh astronomy you know just say it's 1.1 light year away from so and so why does it have to be dropped you, down to, i know when you have to convert it from light years to light hours to light minutes to i know it's seconds. like why do you have to convert it to seconds you know it's what's the point <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn about the uh, stars you know, the and stars and solar system and the universe, not about how far do we have to go for microseconds, you know, and oh goodness, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, what do we have out here for the live streamers? Anything uh, all good in San Diego? Thanks here, John Jerome, for checking in there. Appreciate it. Uh, we got one new member in here, it looks like. Who is Ooh. that? Where are you at? Where are you hiding? Looks like maybe it's been since the live stream's been brought up. Uh, yeah, it looks like it maybe. I missed it. <laughs> Not for sure where, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Um, We're going to jump off here. Have yourself a good night Friday, right? Friday tomorrow. Uh, that means party time. Mm -hmm. Not really, but I don't know. We don't have the kids here right now, so we can enjoy a little bit of time quietness and uh just enjoy you know the uh the time without the kids i guess yeah, right watch movies just watch movies out. and That's stuff our, like that our, our type of party and it's just sit, sit there yeah and enjoying quiet time when i say party time that means going to bed early yeah <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately that's not tonight but uh, we're working on it have a good night folks we'll catch you guys back here uh sometime uh, sometime tomorrow for uh, the Friday morning update. Take care. We'll catch you guys back here later. Have a good night, guys.